My name is Ken Miller. I'm professor of biology here at Brown. I'm a cell biologist in terms of my field. I've also been able to write uh, books for popular audiences. And my latest book, which was published in April of this year by Simon & Schuster, is called The Human Instinct, How Evolution Gave Us Reason, Consciousness, and Free Will. And this is a book that basically addresses what I regard as some of the bigger issues that come to mind when we consider the importance of the evolutionary story for our species, what we think of ourselves, and how we place ourselves within the world of life. I'm a fairly competitive guy, uh, and to be perfectly honest, I kind of like a good argument. And uh, over the years, I've engaged people who uh, uh, resented or denied the science behind evolution, or the age of the Earth, or uh, the origin of the universe, or all sorts of things. And one of the things that I wanted to make very clear is that the evidence for evolution isn't just in fossils. It's not about digging up old bones. The most powerful evidence for evolution is actually in the genome. It's in DNA sequences. And in the case of this particular book, The Human Instinct, I wanted to start out by showing people just how powerful and how overwhelming the evidence for human evolution actually is. But then I wanted to follow that up. And I wanted to follow that up by basically explaining that the evolutionary origins of our species are not the bad news that an awful lot of people seem to take it for. Um, there's an awful lot about our position in the evolutionary tree that actually confirms our humanity, confirms our important to life, importance to life on this planet. Um, and as uh, Carl Sagan once wrote, um, what evolution tells us is that we are a part of the cosmos to be sure, but we're the part of the cosmos that has become conscious and self-aware. Human, the human species, in effect, is the cosmos waking up and becoming conscious of itself. Rather than demeaning our presence, you might say at the top of the tree of life, what evolution tells us is really a marvelous story, which is that we are woven into the fabric of life that encompasses every other living thing on this planet. But as part of that, we are the species who has actually uncovered the process that gave rise to us. We are the species that sort of personifies self-consciousness. And above all, we are the one species who can sort of look out into space and gather a grand perspective of what life is like and just how special planet Earth actually is. I began the final chapter of this book trying to figure out how to, how to, how to begin a chapter. That's always a hard part for me when I can figure out the first two pages of a chapter and get it right, I can then write the rest of the chapter. And I was literally sitting out in my yard uh, as the sun went down uh, one August night trying to figure out how am I going to start this? And then I realized I had put a note in my little notebook saying, don't forget, the Perseid meteor shower is tonight. And all of a sudden I realized that's the key. The way I began that chapter was to say, tonight, I'm looking forward to the Perseid meteor shower. It's gonna be glorious. But of all the species on this planet, of all the marvelous forms of life, there's only one that knows the Perseids are coming. There's only one that knows which way to look in the night sky. And there's only one that takes delight in it, and that species is us.